Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so as you guys know from my last video, I went out and bought a Vivor button maker from off of Amazon. Um, so of course, you know I'm gonna be starting to make some projects um, and you can go back and look at my video. There's a link in there for the button maker. I'll relink it in this one. If it's not there, you can also buy, buy them off of eBay and they're brand new. And actually they are a little bit like maybe about $10 less if you can find it on eBay. And they have all the sizes from one inch to a large button. Um, but again, all of them only make one size. So, you know, make sure you pick the one that you like. Or if you already bought one, what I'm gonna tell you guys is, I think I got 100 or 150 buttons and I have seriously already made like 30. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go uh, buy some additional ones because it's super stinking addicting. So let's just jump right in to my project. So I decided since um, it's gonna be July in a couple days, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my series of um Christmas in July. Um, so that's what I started off with. I did use the Doodlebug Paper Pad Cream and Sugar, which I've had for forever. I just used my six by six pad, but it's so stinking cute. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what I created. I'll probably do like, like I said, some summer projects as well as some uh, Christmas in July things. So let's just dive right in and I'll show you guys what I created. So anything that I use, if I still have it available, I will link it in the video. If it's not linked there, that means I it's maybe no longer available or I couldn't find the link, but I'll try to link as much stuff as I can in the description box. And of course, if you guys have questions, I'm always happy to answer. So um, let's just dive in. So the first thing that I did was this cute little die that I picked up from AliExpress last year during the holidays. It's a cute little Santa. So adorable. I love this. And it makes a little Santa Claus tag. So I used some of that doodlebug paper, of course. And I decided to do, instead of just a white beard, I decided to go ahead and do it in a pattern because I thought that would be really cute. I did do one with glitter and I didn't super love it. But I mean, I'm sure some of you guys could make it work. But I decided to use the pattern paper instead. So I love this. And then um, it does come with the nose and mouth, the little ear pieces. It does have have little eyes as well but I did decide to go ahead and use some little jemmies instead so that's super cute and then normally you could put like a little pom-pom here but of course you know I made a button <laughs> so I did this cute little and all the buttons that I've made I use from images from the doodle bug I am gonna go to Etsy and stuff and you know buy some bottle cap or some images that I can create um some buttons with but for this particular project since that paper pad is so cute i just found lots of cute little images to use for my buttons so that's the first one and then here's the second one i love this pad because it has traditional colors as well as like some shabby uh, colors and then there's the button that i made that little cute cake on a cake plate and then here's the last one that i did um and then I put a little Christmas tree image in that one. So super love that. And then here's another die that I also picked up from AliExpress. I know it comes from somewhere else, but um, this one I got from AliExpress. So I went ahead and made some of these layered bows, which I love this bow just anyways. It's just really cute. And then this is an image from Doodlebug. Now these particular images that are, I'm using on these bows um, and some of the other ones, it, in the paper pad, it was meant to be an advent. Um, so there's little numbers on them. So I put a little bow to cover that up. Um, so all you see is the image and then I put a little gem in the center. But hey, make it work. You can always make stuff work and make adjustments. So yeah, because there's like a little number on some of them. So, or actually on all of them, but some of them got covered up in just making the button, but some didn't. So, uh, and oh, I see a glue string. I can't stand that. <laughs> Sorry, sidetracked. Um, so I just covered it up with a bow. And then this cute little eggnog one. The number was at the bottom, so I put the bow at the bottom. And then here's the last one. So stinking cute. Milk and cookies. And then this is, um, what do you call this? Like little holly 
really cute. So all the bows, I cut out four different bows and then I just, you know, layered uh, two different bows together. So I did the polka dot and this one, and then I put the little button in the center. Now this particular die, I don't think it's available anymore. Um, people have asked me and I don't think it's available. I've gone back and looked and I don't see it. So I don't think it's available, but I did go ahead and create one of these little Converse ones. So cute. I love, this is one of my favorite images in this particular co uh, collection is the milk and cookies. And then of course I did go ahead and make a little button. Um, normally you would put the little circle with the star for the Converse, but we did a button instead. How cute loving that and then here's the next one i've never done three in a row it is a little time consuming because you do have to glue on all these little circles and then there there this is a piece 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 so it, it doesn't take too long but i mean you do have to do all of this um with some glossy accents or whatever what glue that you want to use but so fun and so cute and then here's another one I love this one too. That's the same one that's in that tiny button. How cute is that? Loving that. So the last thing that I did were some of the bows that I make. Um, I did some of these. And this one again, this was from the advent calendar. So I put a little tiny, tiny bow with a little pearl on top of it. So cute. And uh, I hate glue strings. And I was crafting really late at night, so it's harder to see them at night. There we go. I got it. Um, oops. So I couldn't see the glue string. But anyways, here's the next one. And I love that little cocoa mug with Santa's face on it. And then here's another one with the holly berry. And I love, this one's really shabby. Because, yeah, there's lots of pinks and, you know, and then then you have ones that are traditional colors. But that's what's so fun about Doodlebug. I just love it. This is a cute little cake. And then here's the last one. And I, I used some of the peppermint paper that was in there with some of the polka dots. And then I put a little gingerbread. So, yeah, definitely look out for some more videos. I will continue to uh, show you guys how I'm using my button maker as well as doing some Christmas and July and some summer projects. So this is going to be fun. I'm so glad that I got the machine. It was definitely pricey, but it's okay. I mean, that machine is heavy duty and I mean, it should pretty much last me forever. So it was a, it was an okay investment. So, I mean, all in total, I paid about $113. So again, I'll link information in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for stopping by to take a look at my, the start of my Christmas in July. And I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye.